if you guys want to visit Suriname and you're looking for a place to eat a place to dine then this is the street to be on so this guy is telling us about the restaurant here we moxie yes this is our restaurant the Moxi restaurant and this is a famous place here in Suriname to, to have a uh, breakfast you have all these eating establishments right in the neighborhood full t-bone steak homemade soup dinner rolls a sexy mocha and of course we can't forget our Chinese brother at a Chinese restaurant nestled here in the corner please like subscribe and share hey my amazing people it's me Greg again with another vlog so how are you guys doing today it's another beautiful day here in sunny sunny Serena actually it's a national holiday today not much traffic on the road uh, I'm walking right now on a street that's very famous for lots of food establishment here in Serena I took the opportunity today to vlog this street because it's not so busy today if you guys want to visit Suriname and you're looking for a place to eat a place to dine then this is the street to be on you can have your dinner here you can have uh, lunch you can have brunch you can have snacks you can have some drinks you can just chill you can just relax it's a very busy street when it's coming on to the evening so you guys join me let's take a walking tour and I'm gonna show you some of the restaurants found on this street so I'm standing now on the Fan Samuel Dijkstraat, Fan Samuel Dijk Street, and if you guys can remember, I did a vlog here at this Chinese market. And right across there, you have the income tax building. It's a building none of us don't like here in Suriname, but we still have to pay our taxes, right? So this is a famous street, guys. This street is famous for a lot of food establishments. But uh, they're more down towards that direction. So we're going to take a walk and we're going to go and I'm going to show you um, some of those establishments. The Fan Samaldeik Strat. Besides being famous for food, this street is also famous for lots of female workers. <laughs> so when lots of wives can't find their husbands this is where they have to come and look over there is the income tax building and we're gonna go walk down towards that direction it's very hot today guys Whew. like every other day and that's a new building here on the Samal Dijkstraat Tele Performance Okay, now we're getting towards the food establishments. You guys remember I did a vlog here by Raja G. Remember me and the girls and Alan, the Indian restaurant and bar. That's one establishment. Across here, you have a place that sells uh, ice cream cone. Over here you have a uh, sushi ya. I think the name says it all sushi ya. It's another uh, establishment. They're doing some uh, renovation on this one here. There's another one here. So, this guy is telling us about the restaurant here, We Moxie? Yes, this is our restaurant, the Moxie restaurant. It's mm -hmm. uh, Caribbean flavored. It's owned by the Chef Tro, uh, the well-known Chef Tro. Um, what we have here, what we sell here is a Caribbean fusion. That's a mix of what we have in Suriname, all the flavors. It, you can get it back in the, co in the cocktails and in the different recipes of food. Um, the well-known jerk chicken is also here. You can, you can order it. And yeah, we also have a dinnertainment that's actually like entertainment and dinner at the same time so you enjoy your whole experience. Yes. Well guys, yeah, you, you heard it from the man himself. There's where to come. You want to have some Caribbean fusion food? Yes, okay, thank you my friend. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and across here you have another restaurant. 
and in the evenings they get so busy and here you have uh, mighty racks I ate there already the food here is very good so you have mighty racks that's a big dinosaur up there what some of the dishes on the menu looks like here Full T-bone steak, homemade soup, dinner rolls, a sexy mocha, grilled lamb chops, mixed cut beef combo, over the rainbow drink. Yes, guys. Over here you have uh, another establishment. Bar Sui. It's another very good place. I've heard lots of good comments about this place too. Establishment there is Mediterranean style grill, Missy restaurant and bar. Yeah, I ate here already one time too. The food here is really, really good too, guys. And this is a famous place here in Suriname to have a uh, breakfast. Had Panukuk and Puffature's Cafe. Really famous for their pancakes, guys. Another place to be. This is another restaurant on, over on this side. How do you say that name? The Dijik. It's another establishment over here. That's a hotel up there. Here you have a Princess Casino, Princess Hotel and Casino. Hotel Center And of course here you're gonna have a government office in between right? Spoil the beauty of the restaurants on the street, but it's a beautiful building though Jungle tours take you on any trips in the interior And up there you have uh, purity, purity tours and services for tours and trips in the interior. You have a uh, cambio to do your exchange. I see, guys. I came out right on the other side. I came out right opposite Terrarica. So you see, even if you're staying at Terrarica or residence in and that direction, you're still very close to all of this. Uh, Restaurants and establishments in the street where you can come and eat. You're still very close. Just a walking distance from Terrarica. A walking distance from Residence Inn. And this is the Wilhelmina Strat. There's a few more establishments up the road there. I went away from the Samaldek Strat just to show you the neighborhood where you have more food establishments this is the queen's hotel yeah, you have queen's hotel up there and right across there you have tangelo Another famous place here in Suriname to come and have a, a drink, a snack, some food.
that's Angelo over there. That's another beautiful hotel we have here, Ramada Hotel. See the beautiful hotel there. This is all in the area of Samos de Extrat where you have all those restaurants and there's some more restaurants here too. Another restaurant terrace over there. And this is uh, Royal Terrarica, another hotel, guys. So you see, if you guys come and you guys want to stay at these hotels, you have all these eating establishments right in the neighborhood. Another food establishment. It's another one over there. Royal Terrarica Remember I did a vlog on these uh, flower stands a while ago too Yeah, you can get your fresh flowers there So if I come into the street now There's some other hotels here Look, there's Queen's Hotel right in the back here too And I think there's another hotel here that's uh, at Fat, another famous terrace to come and chill, have something to eat, something to drink. It's another establishment there. It's more like a bar. You have Margarita Bar here where you can uh, come shoot some pools. Very famous for that. Queen's Apartments right in front of me. We have a dance club tequila right here. And you see they sell um, pizza, burgers, pasta, shawarma, wings and steak. So you see guys, if you want to come and just have an apartment or hotel right around here, then um, all these food establishments are right in the area. If you're looking for a place to park, that's a parking area right over there. Queen's apartment. Whew. Hot, 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 hot. Yeah, you can park a car here, it'll be safe. So I am heading all back into this street. We'll take me back into the Summers Day Strat. So you see guys, there's a lot of food establishments around the area. You come to Suriname, you can try them out. You have, uh, as the guy said, you have the Caribbean Fusion, you have the Indian restaurant, you have Sushi Ya. I think that's Japanese style of cooking. You have, um, Barbecue. Show you guys once again where all the restaurants are located. They're all down here. All here is direction. It's a place to come in the evenings. You can chill and have something wonderful to eat. Okay, let me walk back towards my car. This is a Samuel's Bake Strat. I gotta try this Caribbean. What this guy just said, the We Moxie Caribbean Fusion. I gotta try this. I gotta come here next, guys. So you guys have an uh, idea where to come to have something to eat when you're here in Suriname. 
This is called liquid. So, also a restaurant. And the famous Raja G, the food I love so much. It's right here. Not fully open as yet. Oh, this is Ama This is Amazonia ice cream. Amazonia ice cream. That's it guys. From this angle, all the establishments right here. That's a new building I was showing you guys just now. Raja G. So if you guys are ever here in Suriname, do not forget to visit Samal Dijkstraat. And not for anything else except in food. Okay, guys, food. I'm, I'm vlogging food, nothing else. <laughs> and of course, we can't forget our Chinese brother. A Chinese restaurant nestled here in the corner. It's called Dragon Tongue Bar Restaurant. <laughs> That's hot, really hot today. So if you're planning to visit Suriname or if you're here already or if you're living here and you're looking for some good food or just to have a beer, chill, relax in the evening, then try the restaurants on the Samuel's Day Strat. There are lots of restaurants to choose from. I think I'm going to visit these restaurants one by one and interview the owner to know more about the restaurant and what they serve as food I'm gonna drive by here one evening so you guys can see how busy this place can get and if you're staying in a hotel right in the neighborhood then all you need to do is walk they're all in walking distance you don't need to take a taxi and pay very expensive all you gotta do is walk to your restaurant well guys I just wanted to show you some of the restaurants in the Summers Day Strat so you can have an idea what you're looking for when you are here in Suriname thank you guys for joining me on that walking tour don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share thank you guys for always giving me your support please stay safe until I catch you on the other vlog bye for now guys God bless